pretty much goes straight in. Okay, you can see where the handle comes into play. There are two oval holes, if you notice those right here. For a SESTA 180, 185, uh, 170, all of those uh, SESTA types, the, there's a Wilkie button right up under here, and that's where you get, this hole is to allow you to get a socket up there to pull that nut out if you're replacing the landing gear. So I'm gonna slowly come up with it. These lift plates are curved to pretty much mimic the belly of the plane. And what I'm looking for is about, oh, an inch bypass of the uh, landing gear uh, bulkhead. So that's pretty much it right there. You know, again, I'm, I'm looking for just past this fore and aft. And then the jack itself is centered on the center of the aircraft. Okay. This is about as wide as you want it. Uh, let's say a Cessna 206 is wider. 182 is a little wider. So those could go out a little bit further for those aircraft. On a tailwheel airplane, you can have the jack right where it's at, right here. And you've got clearance. If it's a nose gear airplane, this just gets rotated like that. Out of the way of the nose gear. So coming up on the aircraft. So anyway, I'm engaging it. And then still coming up on the jack. Again, as you come up, look around your sur surroundings. Make sure you're not lifting the tail or the wings up into some structure on the hand. So the mains are off the ground right now. Hear the safety stand click into place. I'm going to go a little higher. There it is. Okay. Now, again, with these jacks and all of them, be real careful on releasing pressure. There. I just released pressure, but not all the way. Then I tighten it back up. The jack is supported by the T-stand right now. And if you look at the right ear, right here, we're more than high enough to get a, that whole tire off the ground. These are 856 tires and uh, require a little bit higher jacking requirement than you would for 606 tires. So, what I'm going to show you, the way, so you would work on one wheel at a time. You would take that wheel off, put a wooden block under it, and change the brake, pads, grease the bearings, whatever. Right. Now to yeah. service the other side, I either hook a bucket here, or a small can with some lead weight in it, and it doesn't take much to bring that other wheel up. See the other, the left side now is completely off the ground. So aircraft aren't la longitudinally stabilized. I mean, you're always going to have uh, maybe a higher fuel load. There could be equipment installed. Something will make one side heavier than the other. Or it could be simply placement of the pads. If they're favoring one side or the other slightly, it'll have the same effect. Yeah, so one thing of a concern maybe for someone is they, when you jack a tailwheel up, tailwheel aircraft like this up, the deck angle increases and maybe concerns so that the aircraft could slide on these lift pads, it won't happen. All of these rivets under here are embedding themselves into this quarter inch rubber. And even as greasy as it might be on the belly, it, there's no movement. So it's, it's very safe on that respect. Uh, the slide tubes here, these indents are really for when you're lifting up the flat gear option, which I'll show you in another video. 
Uh, the set screws don't have to go into one of those holes when you're lift using the belly pad, but a flat gear, you really want to embed that into one of these holes here. So it will not slide in or out using the other type of lift option. So uh, it's just another safety item. The jack here is fully articulating, so it'll go wherever it needs to, to fully form the bottom of the belly automatically as you lift it up. You just, you have to have it within reason. Uh, and then the plates themselves are curved to mimic the belly curvature. And uh, when I lower it down, you'll see all the marks in the rubber left over from those uh, ripped heads. Yeah. So I'm gonna raise it very slightly. Lower that safety scan. And then it, again, lowering the whole jack back down. And there it goes. So you might, if the light's right, I think right here, if, at this angle, you can see the indents from all those rivets. Those will keep that aircraft from ever sliding. All right. 